<clears throat> okay, Shabbat Shalom. How is everyone doing? First to the most high, Shabbat Shalom. This is the holy set apart day. The day that the most high set apart, blessed and made holy. This is the one and only true Shabbat. The Shabbat of the most high, the children of Israel, the children of Granddad Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Elijah, Enoch, Moshe, Aaron, Noah, and Shem. So, <clears throat> I wanted to talk about us, which is the children of Israel, versus the Jews. We are two different people. Okay, so... Our true identities, the true identity of us Negroes is that we are the true, that we are the children of Israel. Yeah. What happened was, this is our history. We are Israel <clears throat> and we're from Israel. And we are in everlasting covenant with the Most High. The reason we had got put out of our homeland was because our ancestors had sinned against the Most High by not keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. And they broke the covenant. And the covenant was he is our God and we are his people. We are not to worship any other. That was the marriage. That was the oath that our ancestors took. And we took it as well. Because we were in their loins, in their womb. Yeah. <clears throat> so we were under generational curses. The curse was for 400 years because our ancestors sinned against the Most High. At first, they was obedient, and then they got beside themselves. They forgot where their blessings came from, which was the Most High, because the Most High provides all things for us. And I say us, I'm talking about the children of Israel. He don't provide for those heathens. He provides for us, his people. Okay? His wife, Israel. Yes. We're his wife. That's why he said, Israel have what? Gone a whoring after other gods. So everyone know what a whore is. A whore is someone that's married to someone and they're cheating on them. Mm-hmm. That's what our ancestors did. So the Most High... He got angry with us and he put us out, scattered us to the four corners of the earth, and also he scattered all our wealth and resources to the four corners of the earth. So really, <clears throat> all the wealth and resources you see in the earth is really ours. And the Most High said that once the punishment is over, we get all our wealth and resources back. So we are now very wealthy. We got all our wealth and resources back. That's why there's a famine coming in their land among the heathen. We're not going to have a famine Zion, Israel 12 tribes of Israel no. All of our wealth is going back home with us the heathens is going to be stuck here with the famine not us. Okay? Let's get that one straight <coughs> Um, We are family Granddaddy Jacob, Father Jacob whose name was changed to Israel, he had 12 sons, six from Rachel, six from Leah. Okay? And we are Shemites. We are from the line of Shem. We are not from the line of Ham nor Japheth. We are from the line of Shem. So we are Semitic. We are. Now, those people that's... Now, uh, when the Most High put us out of our land, Israel... No one's supposed to be in that land at all. Not in any area of Israel. The whole entire land of Israel. Each city is supposed to be empty. Even the Most High himself left. When he, when he put us out, he left as well. So he met Zion just like we do. Most High said in the book of Psalms that there is no place that he would rather be than the gates of Zion. And that's where we're going Oh, let me tell y'all, I had a dream last night. 
Or I should say I went to another dimension and the chariots are coming. I saw them. There were so many of them. There were so many of them. Yeah. So at any split second, we're out of here. It could be today because I had that uh, experience this morning. Mm -hmm. The chariots of the most high were so many of them. There were so many of them. Yes. But those Jews are not us. Those people are, those Jews, uh, they practice this religion called Judaism. So that's something that you convert to. Y'all know how people join religions. Okay, so that's what that is. That's what those Jews are. We are not Jews. We are Hebrews. And we are family. We are a man's children. That man's name is Jacob. Jacob. But there's no J's in Hebrew. And y'all know his name was changed to what? Israel. Okay, so there's the difference between the two. You have us, the tw the children of Israel, which is the twelve sons of uh, Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. We are a family, and our family is from Israel, and we are Israel. Yes. And then you have those imposters. Yes, those Jews. Everyone know that that's something that you convert to. That's not a family. That's not a bloodline. Okay? And the Most High is in covenant with the children of Israel. He's not in covenant with no Jews. Jews are not Hebrews. And we all know that there's no J in the Hebrew alphabet. And what those people done, okay? See, it, one of our uncles is... His name is Yahuda. His name is not Judah. Okay. Because there's no J's in Hebrew. His real name is Yahuda. So, but what they ignorant self did, because they're Jewish, they're from Europe. And what they did, when, when they was put in that land, which is our land, what they did was took Yahuda, which is my tribe. I'm from the tribe of Yahuda. I'm a Yahudi. We have priests, which is the tribe of Levi. That's Moses and Aaron. Okay, you know, the most high priests. Um, we have kings, David, Solomon. We have judges. Some of our family have dual office called Samson. He was a judge, and I also think he was a priest too. But um what what those Jews did was try to fit in our land okay they took the fact that they were jewish and they they took well tried to take our uh uncle yahuda and attach themselves to him but see little do they know that it's 12 tribes of israel not one mm -hmm. and then they go and make this religion judaism no and calling themselves rabbi. What the heck is a rabbi? We don't have rabbis in our family. We are royalty and we have kings and queens and priests, prince and princess. That's what we have. We don't have rabbis. Okay? And our punishment came from the Most High. We don't have anything to do with no Holocaust. No. Because, see, our punishment came from the Most High for being disobedient to Him, not keeping His commandments. Mingling with those heathens. He told us, don't go nowhere near those heathens, nor serve their gods. And that's where our punishment came from the Most High. The Old Testament talks about the blessings of obedience and the punishment of disobedience. Yes. So that's the difference between us, the children of Israel, the sons and daughters of the Most High, a people that's near and dear to him, and we are in everlasting covenant with the Most High. And He's coming to get us at any moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Shabbat Shalom, Zion, Israel.